Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another prehistoric profile. Well, it's time for me to cover what is probably the most controversial dinosaur of them all, and that would be Nanotyrannus, or Dwarf Tyrant. So, let's begin. Nanotyrannus lived 68 to 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Its fossils have been found in Montana and South Dakota. Nanotyrannus wasn't discovered by one person, but evolved from a skull found by David H. Dunkel in 1942 and was first named Gorgosaurus lankensis by Charles W. Gilmore. Then, in 1946, it elevated into its own genus, Nanotyrannus, in 1988 by Robert T. Baker, Phil Curie, and Michael Williams, who recognized it as a small, distinct tyrannosaur, sparked ongoing debate as to whether it was a separate species or if it was a juvenile T. rex. But as of a recent discovery of a tiny throat bone in 2025 and further examination of a fossil find called dueling dinosaurs, it's shown that Nanotyrannus is an individual species. Nano T was about half the length and about one tenth the mass of a fully grown T Rex. A fully grown Nanotyrannus weighed 900 kilograms or 2,000 pounds, was 5.1 meters, or 17 feet long, and stood 2.2 meters, or 7.5 feet tall. One of the many differences was its arm size. While T. rex had famously tiny arms, Nano T's arms were proportionally longer relative to body size, with some suggesting its hand measured as long as the combined upper and lower bone arms, with some saying nearly three feet long on a smaller animal. Nano T also had a lower, more slender skull with distinct crests and extra sinus cavities, which are not seen in T. rex. And they had more teeth, about 14 to 15 teeth per side in the upper jaw that were slender and blade-like for slicing meat, unlike the bone-crushing teeth of T. rex. Like modern-day cheetahs, Nano T probably relied on speed to help it bring down its prey because of its long, thin hind legs and its tail. In fact, Nano T may have been able to run at speeds of 40 to 50 miles per hour. Nano Tyrannus had excellent vision and depth perception due to its large, forward facing eyes, which helped it to judge size, distance, and angles of attack. It could chase and overtake its victims with long, fast strides and wound them with its sharp claws and knife-like teeth. Although it didn't have the strong bite force of its much larger cousin, it's claimed to have a bite force that exerts up to half a ton of pressure. Like all other Tyrannosaurs, Nanotyrannus hunted medium-sized to large dinosaurs and most likely preyed on duck-billed, herbivorous hadrosaurs, as they were very common in the region at the time. In terms of its social structure, most fossil evidence indicates that, like many tyrannosaurs, Nano T hunted in packs, or at the very least, pairs. Well, that was it. My prehistoric profile on Nano Tyrannus. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba.